Right here, you are called the only invited to listen the keynote of Mr. Mike Kipau, representative of Nam Athan, presenting the opportunities, solutions, and recommendations for sales this and the conference on big data for the banking industry today. Okay, uh, hi everyone. I am Mai Chi Bao and I'm here for Nama Bank. And uh, today is my honor to be here to talk about big data. Is it a fire of a 21st century? So the first, what is big data? The big data refer to large and complex data sets which can be processed by traditional technology and is characterized by three big Vs. The first one is the volume, uh, variety and velocity. The volume is uh, the big data range from megabyte to petabyte per data set. The velocity we can think of two ways. The first is the streaming real-time uh, data processing. And the second thing is the uh, data volume increasing uh, exponentially. For example, we have around uh, 72.9 million searches on Amazon website per second. And the third one is variety. Uh, different from traditional data, which is constructed data, tables, rows, and columns, uh, big data also have unconstructed data and semi-constructed data, which is text, document, videos, and image. So the applications, I want to bring you some few uh, applications. The first, Obama's winning recipe. So uh, Obama's strategies for winning election in 2008 and 2012 is usually cited as the uh, big data applications in politics. The first one is targeted outreach. So uh, his uh, campaign used data from various sources such as consumer data, uh, social media data, and voter file to identify the potential supporters to uh, this included micro targeted advertise to a specific groups of people and to uh, pull the swing voters in key states. Uh, the fundraising, so uh, they can identify the uh, potential supporter based on their interest and donation history. The third one is voter turnout. So uh, with the data-driven techniques, they can uh, develop uh, strategies for each uh, support the social media. So this campaign is one of the first to use social media as the um, uh, platform to outreach and amplify their message. However, this um, Obama recipe has been widely adapted for uh, other political strategies all around the world. The healthcare Google flu train. So we also know that uh, there are common symptoms in flu, like uh, coughs, headaches, and uh, sore throats. So uh, it turns out that millions of uh, Americans type out and search on Google about common symptoms before calling their doctor. So um, compared to the CDC report, which is from the data collected and compiled from thousands of hospital and labs, which mean it's slower. For example, in 2012, Google said that it uh, find out a Google flu train activity uh, two months in advance. So uh, GFT avoids privacy pitfall because they use aggregated data. However, in 2015, Google said that they have to cancel the project and replace by a new one in the next few years because uh, the GFT overly reliant on such data, which is not accurate. The third one is the finance, a customer experience. So did you know that attracting a new customer costs five times larger as much as keeping an existing one? The problem is the annual churn rate of the bank is usually 10 to 15% in this highly competitive market. And because each bank have a large set of uh, customer, which means they cannot devote so much time and effort into each customer. 
So uh, this given a rise of a, com uh, a predictive model, which means that they have to focus on uh, those high-risk high customers based on the data features like a branch visit, uh, purchase history, and transaction frequency. So this means the bank will uh, grow and thrive. So uh, the lower the cost, the more the profit. So of course, big data also have challenges. Uh, three of them are, uh, the first one is the big data volume makes uh, companies vulnerable to data breach, which is the loss and theft of sensitive information, such as identical information or financial information. And as a result, they lead to financial loss or uh, the reputation damage. The privacy violations. So uh, big data involved in collecting and analyzing a lot of personal data. So uh, the companies have to comply by uh, the government laws and uh, collect the consents from the user before practicing it. The bias and discriminations. So big data or predictive models can uh, perpetuate and amplify the uh, discriminations against a group of people or individuals. For example, we can see that this person has a lot of uh, uh, data fields. And for example, if the bank used the criminal uh, information in the past to uh, evaluate the ability to repay for the loan, uh, will he commit the crime within 10 years? So these false impressions can, uh, may block him from the second life. And uh, it's not fair. Uh, the solution, some of them are the uh, government laws and big companies have to adhere, uh, adhere it. Uh, security measures, they have to apply firewall, instruction detection system, and access control to prevent data from data breach. Provide option for users to control their privacy settings and clear information about data collections. Uh, anonymize data by removing identify, uh, identify uh, information such as name, addresses, and social security numbers. So these data fields, in most cases, they are not useful. But uh, however, they uh, amplify the discriminations against that uh, people. Uh, data encryption. So they're encoding data in a way that makes it unreadable for uh, without a proper description key. Uh, for example, like uh, iPhone, uh, encoding the data that uh, Apple cannot uh, track the information if required. Uh, they have some uh, uh, useful, uh, but uh, uh, on the other hand, that uh, the government is hard to track down kidnaps or uh, terrorists because of this. So conclusions. Um, I wrote most of my uh, representation with ChatGPT, uh, the state-of-the-art technology recently, and it reached out 100 million users in two months. So uh, let's see uh, what the big data can be used. So ChatGPT was trained on 45 terabytes of text. Uh, if a book's around 100,000 words, 45 terabytes is around uh, 4.5 million books. And if the average speed of uh, 200 words per minute, it will take around 4,300 years to read all of that books. Uh, it would strain on a, ver a various sources, books, articles, and websites, and then it can uh, generate a response in real time, million seconds. So we know that big data can be used to make us a technology that makes our life easier. So get back to the first questions. Is big data the fire of 21st century? So for me, fire was uh, found out 1,000 years ago, and it has led us to uh, some of the most important uh, technology. However, it still kills thousands of people per year. So big data is like fire. If we know how to use them, I will bring, uh, bring benefits. And I believe that its benefits is our way to drawbacks. So uh, that's the end. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>